G'day guys. So for those of you that were watching my live feed on YouTube before, um, just wanted to apologise straight up. I My phone went kind of spastic on me, as it likes to do every now and then, and I kind of lost everything that was on there for the live feed, so I didn't get to see any of your comments or anything, so I apologise for that. Um, if you did manage to catch it and you did put a comment on there, um, and you want you can just put your comment below with what you said um since i missed it and i apologize for that it's just my phone being silly but um the live footage was pretty much just me working on this challenge lock for the 100 sub giveaway so i thought i'd just take you through what i was doing since i lost the live feed so live feed pretty much just consisted of me modifying the core for the lock um, I haven't done anything to the Bible and I'm not going to, but this is the challenge, what the challenge box is going to be, is, uh, my camera will focus, Lockwood, it's a rim cylinder, it's one that I got from a, um, demo yard and managed to clean it right up, clean it all out and, um, get it back to perfect working order, so... It's going to make a nice challenge lock and the footage showed me working on the pins for it so I'll give you a quick run through of the pins that are going to be in this 100 sub giveaway challenge lock so let's see if I can zoom in a little so it's only a five pinner and I've misplaced my tweezers yet again. Keep doing this. Um, where they go? There, right in front of my eyes. So chamber one is a standard, and I've got a serrated pin up the top, which is the one that I made for the Discord uh, pin making comp. But I just modified it in the video to turn it into a. I can do this. I'm going to smooth that out a little bit more but turned it into a two part pin so you got the serrated sleeve and the inside pin chamber two is serrated key pin and a serrated driver and in chamber three we've got a spooled key pin and a pot belly serrated spool that I made for the Discord um, pin competition. So, got to use that one in this. In chamber four, we have a spooled key pin and a three part pin and pin. So, we've got the standard bottom pin at the bottom here. Then, I've got two sleeves that go over it. The first one is serrated, and then the second one's just a standard. And then in the last chamber, lucky number five, we have a serrated key pin and a serrated spool, uh, sorry, serrated T pin that I made for the um, Discord pin comp. So I've got them in there and I've varied the spring tension as well. And all these match in with the core. So We've got serrations in one and two, then three, four are undercut, and then serrated in five. So the undercuts work with the spools and the two part pin there, the three piece pin there, and then the rest are serrated to work in with the serrated pins. But I'm not going to show you the bidding. Well, yes, I am. <laughs> Can't help myself. This is the bidding. For the lock so some low cuts at the front high cuts at the middle and the low cut at the back nothing all that challenging i'm hoping that the pins make it quite challenging so there is the pins for the 100 sub giveaway challenge lock uh, just fix my camera up here Which is 
I don't know, wait on me. Come on. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Gonna... That's better. So, um, and as I was saying, I've been I've made up some the bottom of the keyway tensioners, the swoop handles. So, got the set of them finished off for the giveaway. So, I've got your hold this correctly. I've got the small, the medium, and the large. So you get all three sizes, all with the swoop handles. Um, I've already explained about these, but I've got the set ready. So no sharp edges, all sanded and polished up. I might do a little bit more polishing on them. But um, all ready to go for the drawer as well. So anyway, as always, follow the codes to keep Locksport legal. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm up to 125 when I've made this video. Um, I appreciate every single one of you for supporting Dark Arts um, and subscribing. It means a lot. So, yeah, thank you very much. And for everyone that's entered in for the 100 sub giveaway draw, best of luck to all of you. And, yeah... So, um, I've had a bit of a mental blank at the moment. Oh yeah, my coffee's sitting there, that's why. Um, I'll just start staring at it. Um, yeah, if you'd like to get in contact with me, you can send us an email at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com. Uh, also on Facebook, don't forget to come and check out our Facebook page, uh, Dark Arts Lockpicking, put up photos behind the scenes stuff and... It's another way to get in contact with me. And also Discord, the app. Um, it's full of, we've got the Locksport community on there, full of fantastic people. So if you'd like to come and join us on there, if you've got Locksport YouTube channel or you're into Locksport and do Locksport, just send us a message either through email or through Facebook and I can give you a link to come and join us on the group. So, yeah. I think that pretty much covers all of it. So I'm going to finish my coffee, go have some tea, and watch some TV. So, all right. Till next time. Cheers, guys.